I was staying in Hampton Inn in New Jersey when I was visiting Rowan University, a college I potentially wanted to attend. My family couldn't come with me, so I was on my own. After attending campus tours, I went to get a bite to eat at a nearby restaurant and then went back to the hotel at around 8 p.m. I planned on going back to the campus again the next day. About an hour after returning to my room, a strange alarm started going off in my room, along with the white light flashing from the corner of the ceiling. A message started looping shortly after, saying something along the lines of, All Hampton Inn guests, please remain in your rooms. This is a lockdown. I had never heard of a lockdown in a hotel. I didn't even know hotels had alarms like this. I found it more interesting and exciting than anything else. Eventually the sound of the alarm stopped, but the light kept flashing, and every 20 seconds or so the message would repeat. It was only like 9.30, so I turned on the TV just for the background noise while I started changing clothes and brushing my teeth. I shut the lights when I was done and hopped under the covers. I watched TV for half an hour before shutting it off. The light was still flashing with that obnoxious bright white every few seconds. It was definitely going to hinder my sleep. I was starting to consider calling the front desk to ask what was going on. Then the phone rang. It was someone from the front desk. I was expecting them to tell me something about the alarm and when it was shut off. But instead the person on the other end spoke in a very concerned voice. She told me to remain calm and walk out the door. I took that opportunity to ask what exactly was going on. She went on to tell me that there was somebody in the room with me and to get out immediately. I dropped the phone and instinctively started looking around everywhere. Part of me was curious to see if somebody was in fact in the room. I checked under the bed, looked into the empty bathroom, nobody in either spot. Then I noticed a closet door right next to the bathroom. It was one of those closets with a wooden sliding door. It was open just a tiny crack and through that tiny crack I could see a person's face. At first, it didn't sink in what I was seeing, but when the door slid shut, that was when I freaked out and ran out the door. The people at the front desk showed me security footage from an hour earlier of some sketchy looking man walking around the hallways, apparently looking for a certain room. When he got to my door, he opened it with the card he somehow acquired, and that was it. I stayed around as the authorities took the person out in chains. It was a man, of course, on the shorter side, easily in his 40s. He looked at me as he passed, as if he knew who I was immediately. It's scary, thinking back that he might have been watching me for more than an hour from that closet. <laughs>